Hello. I want to take a few minutes and try to give some better understanding of these recent components that were added of add section view, add detail view, add 3D view. In particular, uh, the part where it now takes a frame as input. Because uh, that can be a, a little confusing. So in our view tab, we add a 3D view right here. And see on the, uh, the frame requirements, it's asking for a line, a plane, a rectangle, and a box. So let's break this down a little bit. I have a Revit file with some walls I'm referencing. Uh, the windows here are going to get a little jammed up, so just be patient and I'll try to keep them in the screen view. The so if we're in our rhino view, um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna break down exactly what's going on here. It's gonna get a little into the weeds at points, but uh please bear with me and um, hopefully at the end you'll have a clear understanding and a, a simple way to create a Revit view with the Rhino inside Revit. So if I'm in my view, and I want to make this view in Revit, uh, what I would need to do is, in our, our C planes, is set the plane to the current view. And you can see right here, that's pretty much where I want to be. I type in plan in the Rhino command line. That brings me back. And if I wanted to make a view, I'd make this rectangle here. All right, I could uh, reference this geometry. One geometry. Right away, you're gonna see that this is a curve. If I named my view, and tried to create my Revit view here. It's gonna throw an error. Failed to convert curve because we are looking for a line, plane, rectangle, or box. So we can cast that curve to a rectangle. And you'll see that our rectangle is a little different. So it gives our, our height and width domain and that's going to be acceptable. And if we go, let's just collapse that. If we go to our 3D view. There we go. That's pretty simple, right? So going back to a Rhino, let's look at exactly what's going on here. So we have our plane. You can see the X direction uh, in red and our Y direction in green. If we were to place a line from zero, actually a vertical line from zero right here, that would be our, our Z direction. So when our, our Revit view is actually going to be in the negative Z direction, we're looking the other way. Um, so for instance, if we were to take this curve, we'll do the same thing here, one geometry. It's a line like curve, but we actually want a line, which gives us that. And we, we feed that into our, our view. 
it's actually going the opposite way. So we could we do a, a direction. You can see we're going that way. That's the way we're looking. So if I flip the curve, that would give us the expected direction. So this is actually the curve we want, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be our positive z value, it's a negative z value. So that this this rule applies to everything we're gonna do. Um, either creating by by rectangle, by plane, by line, or by box. So we can cast our view right here um, to a box. Right? It's going to give us this box. The if we look at the deconstruct box, you're going to see that our domain of the box is negative 50 to 0. So that's created on this plane going into negative 50. This gets a little confusing because if I wanted to just create a box here, um, let's just say three points this way, this way, this way, go down right here set that as a geometry and go into our box you're going to see it 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 creates um, a different domain box so that's where you got to be a little careful uh, when creating a view from the box so if we looked at our domain box, box domain, domain box, it's pretty easy to create a negative uh, z value here. Um, we can create a different domain. Let's go to our domain area. Struct domain. We can make our negative value there. So now that we know what's going on, we can create uh, create some views. Pull up the grasshopper. So if we were going to create a, a section view, a section view, and we wanted to be looking in this direction. That would be our, our negative z value. So pulling this back up, setting our view to the top. Let's get rid of that. So we'd want our line going in that direction. Is the viewer doing? So that's actually the negative z value of our view. So let's copy that. Set one geometry. And we'll just call that. section view there we go so we, now we have a, a view uh, in the direction we're expecting the uh, we'll go into I'll, I'll do another video on how to how to uh, clear these up when you're putting them on sheets and stuff but the intent of this is just to get uh, 
how these rectangles and boxes are being oriented, uh, create a proper 3D view. Uh, one thing that you can do, uh, note that in our our release, you could now uh, bake the view to create a name view in Rhino. You can also open the viewport from Revit by hitting control will grab the orientation, the shift grab the zoom. So how this works if I'm in Revit um, and I want this Revit view. Probably not the best example. Let's create a new default 3D view. If I wanted to align my Rhino view this view, I would hit control and open viewport, and it's going to align this, this viewport to our view. If I hit the, the shift on the open viewport, it's going to align the zoom. Also, our 3D views, um, another good way to get a handle on this is if you can cast it to a plane. So there's our, our view plane. You can cast it to a uh, surface. And that surface orientation will display direction that you want, or as we did earlier, you could cast to a box. Um, pretty sure you can't cast to a line. So. so the other thing I wanted to mention is, so now that we know our, our four ways to create a view, essentially either to create the rectangle, create the box, even the line, um, you're going to have to have your plane established. So that's probably, that's where you want to start to create a, a view. Is, and there's so many ways to, to create planes, either from your geometry, from bounding boxes, um, using the different plane creation tools. That's going to give you the control that you want to create the line, the rectangle, or your box. It's all going to start from a plane. So I hope that helped. I hope you have a good understanding of how to create a, a view, either a section, detail, or 3D view in Rhino inside Revit.